maybe. I can break it. I can try to break it out. No, that's a conglomerate, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that, babe. That's the conglomerate we were looking for. Just look at that. Isn't that a beauty? It is. A conglomerate in a conglomerate. What do you make of the clasps in the, in the little one? Uh, it looks like uh, sandstone and limestone in there. Deep time. Deep time. Very deep. We got deep time. This is just beautiful. A conglomerate class in a conglomerate. The conglomerate, you have to have sand grains glued together to make sandstone broken and rolled to round them off because this is rounded. And you have to have an ocean or a lake that has things living in it precipitating calcium carbonate to make a limestone broken loose and rounded off. And then those have to get together in a beach or in a stream channel. They have to. Um, be deposited with sand around them. Then they have to be cemented together with hard water deposits. Then that has to be broken out, rolled in a stream and rounded, put together with all these other rocks coming from every which way. All of those then have to be glued together with hard water deposits. And then we have to get from the stream, the lake, or whatever it was that was making these, up here in the middle of the desert on a cliff. And it's all in that one rock right there. And there's really no other way to explain that rock. In geology, we often meet people who tell us that we do not know what we're talking about, that the world looks like it is very, very young, that there's nothing in the world older than written history. Uh, we never tell those people that they're wrong, that they're false, that they've been led astray, but we can tell these people it looks old, that the scientific interpretation, the best way to look at these rocks is that they tell a vast deep time. So when one looks at a rock like this one that has little tiny remnants of old rocks glued together into a rock which is bounced around in a stream and rounded that then is glued in with a whole bunch of other rocks into another rock that has been bounced around in a stream and rounded that is sitting here glued with a bunch of these things on a cliff in the desert, it is very hard to imagine how this could be something that is only 6,000 years old. And so all we do in science is what can we observe, what can we test? And what we can observe, what we can test says really, really old.